Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. It is a gorgeous day out, and it really, I mean, I guess it, it is what they said it was supposed to be. It's upper 60s, almost 70, and you know, it's, it's like 20 degrees colder than it was yesterday, but it's still nice, I mean, for March. Anywho, I got up early this morning. Well, I had another crappy night's sleep, so I was up early and I did everything that I needed to do to get the hell out of the house and I went to the state park with the idea of testing out that 100 to 400, hopefully finding some eagles or at least, you know, some, some decent uh, stuff far away to shoot. Didn't work out that way though. It was packed. It, there was like a line of cars just to get into the, to the parking and I couldn't park in the first place so I had to drive way into the park and it ended up sending me like on the opposite side of, of the park of where I needed to be to get to the place where I remember there being eagles and hawks and all that shit. So that didn't work out. So I ended up just walking around anyways and I forced a couple of pictures, but there, there's no point in showing them because, you know, it, it, it's nothing. That being said, I also didn't plan very well and I was carrying too much stuff with me. So I had to backpack and I had, I brought the 85 with me and this Insta360 on the stick and a, a big ass bottle of filtered water and the new tripod. And then I had my man purse that was just loaded with all kinds of shit. So I'm miserable. Like everything hurts in here because I was carrying too much stuff walking through there. And that was my first foray into the state park for this coming season. And now I know better. So that means no more man purse. I'm taking one phone, just my normal phone. And that's all. I'm not taking that big ass bag with me. And then if I have a need of anything, I can put it in the backpack and that should be okay. But having the backpack, the man purse, the camera with the 100 to 400 on it, you know, the big jug of water that I shoved into the backpack, it was just too much. So not doing that anymore. I don't know what this is going to sound like because I'm driving and I got the windows down because it's gorgeous. I am on my way to the UPS store to pick up, I believe it should be the sandbags that, that are coming in today. Okay, so uh, did get sandbags. I didn't open the package, but they feel really substantial, which is awesome. So now I have sandbags for, you know, the, the light stand and or my tripod when I'm out shooting, which is cool. Next thing, I did reach out to one of the people that I said that I was going to reach out to about shooting and I hit her up through Instagram and she's like totally down with it. So we were chatting a little bit earlier today, uh, trying to coincide schedules and stuff so we can meet up and, and talk about, you know, what we want to do. So that's cool. You know, I'm looking forward to shooting human beings again. And I think that, uh, she'll be a lot of fun to shoot with. So yeah. Okay. So since today was a bust at the state park, I, ended up just in the wrong spot because there were so many people there. It took me a while to actually get him through the gate. And then I had to park way inside the park and that put me opposite of where I needed to be. So what I'm gonna show you now is real quick, the setup with the Godox 8200 Pro and the softbox that I already had in anticipation of getting this a long time ago and the firing unit. So here's the, the little firing unit. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> and I just fired it. Uh, so it sits on the top of the camera like so, has that little LCD readout. And then here's the Godox inside this little unit. Let me set the camera down. So here's the Godox 8200. And then you put it inside this mount and sort of batten it down. And then this part goes in and this part of the softbox surrounds this and holds it on there really tight. And then you just put it on a normal light stand. And then there's the actual softbox. It's already it came with a grid already, so I didn't have to search for it. And uh, basically, easy peasy. Now I just have to freaking remember how to use a flash. <laughs> and we're good to go. Now the other thing that I got, hold on a second, the sandbags. 
which are a lot bigger than I was expecting. So here's the sandbags. Basically you just fill them up and then you can drape them or they all came with little carabiners and you can hook them off to wherever you need to. So that like that little hook here on the, uh, So there, you just hook it off and it holds down your tripod or your light stand and you're good to go. Okay, so another quick video. I've been playing around with this too because the volume seemed to be so low and I turned it up like one notch. We'll see what it looks like. But other than that, that's all I got for you. I'm tired, I'm hungry, and it's Sven Ghoulie night. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.